So like, she was like tall and and red hair and big tits, man. And, I mean, I was a bit drunk, but she was more sloshed than anyone. And I was like, well, I'm a big director, and uh, you know, I was, what? Oh, oh uh, uh, I'll talk. Yeah, um, okay, roll camera, and and we cue George. George in five, four, three. Hello and welcome to the finals of the World Chess Championships here in Lisbon. What a match we've got for you today. And I'm not talking about Man U and Arsenal. Hi, I'm George Smythe and I'm filling in for Ron Howard who's thrown his life away. Only joking, Ron is currently on honeymoon with his brand new wife, Jackie. We would like to wish them all the very best and a happy and prosperous life together. Third time lucky, Ron, eh? Do you know, I always thought Zoe was a lovely girl. Oh well. Hi there. You're here at the Grand Chess Championships live from Lisbon. Don't worry, you haven't missed a thing. The players will be out in a minute, which gives us a chance to talk about a fascinating match between Grandmaster Leon Toltrevik from the USSR and the new Grandmaster all the way from the US of A, Danny Webb. Now this should make for an excellent game with both players in top form. But who will win? Toltrevik, the Rusky, the reigning world champion, or the people's favorite, Danny Webb? I'm joined today by ex-grandmaster Tulio Manzarek. Tulio, what a contest. Yes, a good game, yes. There are two schools of thought on the way this game will develop, and everyone has their opinion. Tulio, what's yours? I am not sure I understand. I'm sorry, I must apologize. Tulio does not speak very good English. Who do you think will win? I think both players have equal opportunity at winning. It's a conflict of parallels, isn't it? But Danny Webb has a great chance, though. Uh, yes, but I think Leon should... Get ah, out. here comes the people's favourite now. Listen to her. They love this man and so do the little success are you? A really fine lad. I was talking to him just before the match. A fine gay fellow altogether. Oh, here comes the Rusky. I mean, the Russian. Both players are facing each other, trying to psych each other. The champion has the choice. So Toltorik is his usual black. Despite in white, young Danny is a fine player. He is very popular here with the people in Lisbon. Lovely people, the Spanish. Do you know, I visited Lisbon two years ago, and it's very much the same today, except it's completely different. What do you think, Tulio? Yes, uh, first time in Lisbon. Young Danny I... is about to start. Will he attack straight away, or will he counterattack? It's really hard to say. Oh, what a move! Young Webb is just after moving one of his small men. How is this going to affect the game, Tolio? I mean, it's so important to get off to a good start. I do not understand. After that great move, what is the Russian Toltrevik going to do now? His face is like the stone of the granite type. We are watching that move from a different angle. Danny is certainly very confident. Toltrevik knows he's in for a very difficult game. Look at the tension on Toltrevik's face. He knows he's in for a battle. He has the choice of moving any one of those small men. Pawns. No thanks, I'm not hungry. What tension, what drama. What's Toltrevik going to do now? The tension in this room could be cut with a knife. The crowd are on the edge of their seats. <coughs> oh! That must be what is called a dummy in chess. It's a bit like when Giggs runs up to the ball. No, no, no. He, he, he gets to the ball. No, wait, I'm explaining this all wrong. Um, let's say Man United are facing... Uh, have a free kick against Chelsea and... Uh, well, Giggs and Beckham line up to take a free kick. Uh, it would have to be at a kickable distance. 
you know, Chelsea's goal. Right rule. Is there an offside rule in chess, Tolio? No. Well, there should be. Chess is very like soccer. I'm picking it up really fast. Oh, look, Toltrovix moved his horsey again. We are seeing that again in slow motion. I was reading the other day. Do you know that the queen is the most powerful piece in chess? I thought the king would be the most powerful piece in the game. I suppose he was in the good old days. But now, with women not wanting to work at home anymore, demanding equal rights and half your money when they divorce you, oh, you have to sell your house, your, your brand new Series 3 BMW Twin Turbo. What's going on? Are we off the air? Okay, we're on a commercial break. Okay. What? Well, that's very unprofessional. Why didn't you tell me? Okay, George, you're gonna have to stick to the game plan, okay? Don't be going off on these tangents, man. What? I am sticking to... Well, I've never been so insulted in all my life. I mean, I was a sports commentator when you were just an embryo, you little prick. Okay, George. Get me some water and get Stalin here some vodka or something to loosen him up. Sure, George. 30 seconds and we go live. And George, it's Portugal, not Spain. What's the difference? Hello and welcome. I'm very angry. I have had to listen to this man talk about soccer for two full hours. This man is a fool. He then calls me Stalin. Listen here, you Russian. Okay, okay, George, uh, Talio. Right, um, you're doing a great job. I am not even Russian. Okay, okay, we, we go live in five, four. Once a commie, always a commie. Hi there and welcome back. Nothing has happened much in the game since that short break. Toltrovic has moved his knight from g6 to b3 and taken White's bishop. Yes, but young Danny is still very strong. That's his strength, is his strength. Anyway, Tolio, ever been in Lisbon before? No. Yes, the Portuguese are lovely people. What part of Russia are you from? I am not from Russia. I am from Latvia. I don't think I was ever there. What part of Russia is that? North, south, east or west? It's been independent from Russia for the past 12 years. Well, folks, you don't just get to watch a great game of chess. You also learn some history as well. Poltrovic is fighting an uphill battle. Leon is winning. I would not say that now. Young Danny is playing out of his skin. See, he has taken one of Toltrovic's pieces. That move was pure textile. The move has allowed him to take Toltrovic's queen from behind and into a dominant position. He cannot. That's impossible. Do you know anything about the art of chess? Well, I'm more of a draftsman myself. Um, Toltrovic, all the cul-de-sacs are closing for Toltrovic now. He is on top. He touched the tower. There, that's a foul. The Rusky fouled the ball. I don't know, I would like to see that again. He did not touch the tower. I mean the castle. Yes, well, it was worse the first time, and I am still not sure, though. No Russian. No Russian in my show. This is a program for the free world. It was Latvian. And Latvia is a democratic country. That's right, Stalin. And don't try and pull the wool over my eyes. I know communist propaganda when I hear it. You are an idiot. What did you say? An idiot. No commie bastard comes on my show and calls me an idiot. I am not a communist, and you, sir, are an idiot! Say that again, I dare you. An idiot! You commie bastard!
Sick and tired.